Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk with Dr. Celeste. I am your host, Dr. Celeste MD. I am a board certified family medicine physician and urgent care specialist uh, that's been serving the Birmingham community and surrounding areas over the last 14 years. I help uh, busy professionals and busy moms on the go to attend to their acute and general medicine care needs. So excited to be with you again. This month is self-care September. So I apologize, we're a minute or two late, having a little bit of difficulty with making sure we had a good signal, uh, but very excited. Good afternoon. Hello, Ms. Gulson. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining. Hello, Mr. Willis, that's my husband. Thank you so much for joining and welcome to the show. Excited. Uh, to share with you guys on this afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon in Birmingham, Alabama. Very sunny afternoon, but very warm uh, outside. So make sure that you're hydrating well and drinking plenty of water. Uh, today's topic again is self-care September. So what we are doing this month, um, September is my favorite month. Uh, hi, Mr. Craig, that's one of my patients. Thank you for joining us. Um, self uh, care month uh, this is September which is self care month September is my favorite month of the year of course I'll tell the secret uh, it is my birthday month so it's my favorite uh, month of the year for a whole lot of different reasons but today what we're doing is talking to you guys about some things about health care that we hope may enhance your lives and that you may share with other people if you're watching this video and replay we would ask if you would please um, put a hashtag and replay in the comment section. Feel free to share this video and this information with any of your friends or family that you feel like could benefit uh, from what we're sharing with you guys today. Hello, Mr. Davis. Thank you for joining us. Um, again, it's Let's Talk uh, Self-Care self September Month is what we're talking about today. And again, I'm your host, Dr. Celeste, um, coming to you guys live from out of Birmingham, Alabama. So. We won't belabor you uh, any longer. Uh, we like to be uh, very uh, kind to your time and we appreciate you all taking time out of your busy schedule on a Sunday afternoon to join us to see what we have to share with you guys today. Again, it's uh, self-care September. And so what I'd like to go over with you guys today is three things that I think may be beneficial for you. There, These are some things that I found both in medical practice and in personal life that have been very beneficial uh, for me. So self-care September, what does that mean? So what we're focusing on this month is the different ways and capacities in which we can kind of take better care of ourselves. It's very important for us to be kind to ourselves because a lot of times we you know, work hard, we're working long hours, and sometimes we don't take the time to take care of ourselves and our bodies the way that we need to, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. And so in that vein, earlier this week, we shared with you guys some uh, things regarding self-care and the importance of water and exercise and getting appropriate rest. So the first thing we're gonna share with you guys today for self-care September is your first filter. So what is the first thing that you do every morning when you get up? Let's think about that. Let's just take a moment. What do you do when you first wake up, when the alarm first goes off, what is the first thing that you do? Well, the first thing that I like to do is to start my day with prayer and meditation. And the reason for that is the first filter of your day is very important uh, to kind of setting the standard uh, of what will happen with your day. The one thing that we know is that um, each day of the week pretty much has a sequence of events, does it? doesn't it? It's like a cycle. You wake up in the morning, you what's the first thing that you do? You may have breakfast, but then what do you do next? Usually there's some kind of event. For a lot of people, that's work. For some people, that's a social event of some kind, um, depending on what day of the week it is. For some people, on the weekends, of course, that may be going to church. For some people, that may be ending up in the morning and the first thing you do is that you exercise and then you may go to work. Uh, but then there's of course lunch and dinner and then you end your day and then 24 hours later we pretty much, or a little less than 24 actually, but at that 24 hour point we start the day again, correct? So what's important, what's one thing that I found vitally important is what is your first filter of the day? What is the first thing that you do, do every day when you wake up? Well the first thing I like to do is prayer meditation and there's a reason for that. Um, primarily is it's the most positive thing that I can do 
to enhance or start any day because it sets my filter and it sets my filter in a place where I'm starting with reading God's Word, I'm starting with meditation, I'm starting with uh, listening to different uh, sermons and things that help to speak positivity into my life. And part of the reason that I do that and spending time with gratitude especially, that's very, very important. Um, I start my day with gratitude and being thankful for the things that God has blessed me with. And what that helps me to do is start the cycle of my day in a positive place. And so with, especially with the kind of work that I do, that's something that's very important because during the, the sequence of any day, I may have, oh, hey, Tiffany, that's my cousin. Hey, thank you for watching. During the events of any day, I can have all kinds of things to go on. And I have to make sure that Celeste starts her filter in the right place. So having a positive filter that you start your day with, with prayer and meditation, spending time with my creator, allowing him time to speak to me, allowing me time to speak to him, and then even allowing me to speak to myself about some positive things that we can start the day with. Especially in 2019, there are a lot of things that are going on that are not necessarily the most positive things that, you, that people want to kind of think about. There are a lot, there's a lot of stress and anxiety that we're finding that is causing various illnesses and diseases or the perpetuation of certain illnesses and diseases in patients. So your first filter of the day is very important because that means when you come up with that first challenge, you've got to filter it through something, right? So that means when that challenge comes, because believe me, they're coming, they always do. That doesn't mean that you're always going to have a day that's not necessarily a great day. It would be great if all of us could have a great day every day, but sometimes we deal with challenge after challenge after challenge through a day. Well, how you first set that filter makes a big difference in how you will deal with that challenge. If you set your filter in a positive place, that means that when that challenge comes, you know that it's coming, you're prepared for it coming, but you're, you're dealing with it through a positive filter that allows you to deal with it in a different way than if you were bunched up with a lot of tension, anxiety, and negativity at the start of your day. So your first filter is very important. Second thing we're gonna encourage you guys to do today and that is your body self-care. What are you doing to take care of your body? This is very important. A lot of times we spend a lot of time working, taking care of other people, taking care of other things. We are husbands, we are wives, we are mothers, we are fathers, we are uncles, we are sisters, we are grandchildren, we are people that are in a position to have a lot of responsibility throughout the day. So sometimes we unfortunately neglect ourselves and this is something I definitely have been guilty of doing in the past, but I'm doing better because when you know better, you do better, right? And so in that same vein, um, it's very important that we take care of ourselves. And I encourage you to schedule the self-care because if you schedule it, you know that you will follow through on it. And so what kind of self-care are we talking about? I'm talking about simple things like pedicures, manicures, uh, I know massages. Massages are absolutely a great source of reducing stress and reducing anxiety. It helps to improve your circulation. It helps to decrease your stress level. You actually get a release of endorphins or what I like to call happy hormones uh, that give you a sense of euphoria and of happiness and of ease. You can actually help through massages to get a lot of tension. You'll, a lot of people will deal with tension also in their neck and in their shoulders and their back. And massage is a wonderful way to release all of that, to release and eliminate those toxins out of your body. And guess what else you can do to help decrease those toxins after the massage? Yes, drink lots of water, which you guys know is a great passion of mine. So massages are another great way for us to take care of ourselves and spend time uh, paying attention to our bodies and helping to release those endorphins for people that have, I know, joint pain or back pain. Uh, massages are great for helping to decrease stiffness and helping with some of those joint pain, especially in people that have arthritis and other things. So. Um, and the third vein, so the third uh, thing that I would encourage you guys to do, and that is uh, learning and practicing the power in uh, self affirmations or what I like to call self coaching. So that means when you wake up every day and you start with that first filter, 
that in addition to prayer and meditation, giving thanks to God for all the blessings that he's given you, uh, because there's always a blessing that you can find. You can focus on the glass being half empty or you can focus on it being half full. I prefer the half full approach and looking at what he has blessed me with so that as I'm waiting on the other part of that blessing, then guess what? I am in a mode of joy and gratitude and peace and there's less stress and I go on about my day. And so the last um, thing, as I said before, is self affirmations. Talk about to yourself about those things that you love about yourself. I am happy. I'm joyful. I love to laugh. Everybody that knows me lo- knows that I absolutely love to laugh. Uh, um, it's a wonderful medicine uh, for the spirit and for the soul. But practicing self affirmations is very important. Um, people that practice self affirmations have been shown to be a lot less stressful, have a lot less anxiety, to be more productive, more happy in their lives. They're more happy fathers and mothers and teachers and um, people that just uh, function at a better rate so that the cycle of their day goes a whole lot better because they start it in a place of positivity and of self-affirmation. So that's pretty much all we have to share with you guys today. I encourage you to practice that. Uh, I encourage you to try this. Try practicing and you can do it various ways that you can practice self-affirmation. Spend the time with yourself telling yourself Uh, the things that you love about yourself. Tell yourself the best things that um, God created about you. That will bring about a sense of euphoria um, and it will allow you to deal with the challenges of that day from a better standpoint because you've practiced how much you love yourself, how much you like yourself, and the benefits and wonderful qualities that you have to share uh, with your family and with other, other individuals. So. The first is let's start with the positive filter, your first filter of the day being positive with prayer and meditation. The second is body self-care. Take the time to attend to the needs that your body has. Grooming uh, for guys, you know, haircuts, pedicures, massages, manicures, any of those things. Um, And then the last part of that is the practice of self-affirmations. I encourage you to try that. If you have a journal, keep a journal. Write a self-affirmation every day. I am passionate. I am compassionate, I am strong, I am powerful. You'll be amazed at the power of energy that you can create if you practice uh, this self-affirmation. But I encourage you to do that for a week. Post it on social media if you'd like to. In whatever capacity works for you, I encourage you to do that, to just see what strength that you'll draw. And in the end, when you practice these things, what happens and the benefit that you receive is that there's less anxiety, uh, stud- recent studies, especially in the last two years, have shown, shown that um, we in this country have a growing rate of anxiety that is really, really causing a detriment to a lot of people with uh, different health conditions. People that have more anxiety have higher blood pressures, they have higher rates of heart attacks, they have higher rates of stroke, they have higher rates of cancer even. Now, I'm not suggesting, I'm, I do realize I'm a medical physician, I'm not suggesting that if you practice the power of um, self-affirmation that you can cure yourself. You know, God can cure you by all means. Um, But if you practice that and you believe that he can, but what I am saying is that if you do that, it will change the filter through which you see the things going on in your life and you'll be amazed at how your blood pressure will come down. You will not have palpitations. You'll decrease the likelihood that you'll have a heart attack or a stroke. You'll be more productive. You will be happier. You will have more energy. You will be more flexible. You will have more happiness to share with your family and friends and create a better environment for yourself all the way around. I know that I myself have definitely seen uh, the benefit of having these practices in your life and I encourage you guys to do the same. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope that this was very helpful for you. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching and taking time out of your schedule. I can't tell you how much it means to me that um, you take time out of your schedule to see what we have to share with you. I know I see uh, Dr. Mashika. Hi, Dr. Mashika. Thank you for joining. Hi, Mr. Triplett. Hi, Celeste. How are you? Thank you for joining um, as well as everyone else. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, have a happy uh, Sunday afternoon. We'll be coming to you live this week uh, with more tips on practicing self uh, care, a better self care to help us make, help make us, I'm sorry, Uh, better and more well-rounded and healthier individuals and all. So thanks so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.